Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I have a couple of wines in front of me, which um, you may be able to see from uh, from that distance. Uh, they have a family resemblance. So they're both um, they're both Australian. Uh, they're both from a place called the King Valley, which is uh, central Victoria, a, bit, a bit further north than central Victoria, a bit closer uh, to the New South Wales border. And they are uh, both labelled Blind Spot, which is a an own label range put together uh, by an Australian guy called Mike Forbes for the Wine Society. And they're Italian varietals. So I've got a uh, Garganiga, main grape of Suave, and I've got a Barbera. And um, it, the, there's a big Italian her- heritage in, in Australian wines. You look at, uh, uh, well, a name like De Bortoli. Where does that come from? Scarpantoni. There's, there's, uh, there's a, lo- a lot of uh, um, in, in Italian families that, are, that have been growing grapes there for decades. Some of them date back to the 19th century. Uh, I've got a suspicion that these two, uh, Brown Brothers, uh, who have vineyards have vineyards in the King Valley, have been making uh, Barbera for, for quite a while. And I wouldn't be surprised if either they own uh, these vineyards or they know somebody who owns these vineyards. And uh, Mac Forbes has been a knock on their door and said, look, anything, uh, anything that I can use for these blends. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's give them a go. So this is the Garganiga weighing in, oh, vintage 2016, weighing in at 12.5% alcohol. Good Suave has... Um, it's one of those wines where it's not so much the fruit that talks, it, there's creamy texture, uh, there's this light peachy character, and um, uh, yeah, the, 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 the good ones have a density and uh, this floral perfume about them, and I do get a little bit of that character coming through here. It feels like it's not the most complex of wines, but it feels like it's one of those where you plonk a bottle on the table, and suddenly you look and it's empty, which for me is as good a test of any... Uh, of, 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 of as anything for the for the quality of a wine, but it, it smells it smells enticing, a slight yeah a slight exotic uh, edge to it, but yes this blossom character, rounded, textured, refreshing, a little bit of weight to it, this peachy weight, and then this slightly uh, creamy, mm, um, creamy almost like um, the fruit flavors, um, something like blood oranges. Blood oranges and peaches. So it's that blood orange citrus edge that's um, that's keeping the, giving the the freshness to those creamier peach characters. Quite a soft finish, uh, but not so soft that it's leaving your mouth all claggy and uh, bogged up with um, overripe fruit. It's um, it's a good good juicy wine and uh, sort of thing. I'd really yeah I'd, I'd polish off of certainly well not me personally, but uh, yes, it would pass a second bottle test. I, Somebody said, shall we have a bottle of something else or shall I have another bottle of that? I'd go, wouldn't mind another bottle of that. Second wine, um, 2015 now for the Barbera, again from the King Valley, weighing in at 13.5%. Let's give it a whirl. Now this smells like a much more conventional Australian red. Um, so I smell a touch of oak there, a slight touch of uh, what I call boot polish. There's some, sometimes you get this stewed, slightly baked red dark, red and black fruit character that uh, you're not sure what the, what, the, what the grape is, but you can tell that it's, uh, it's been through the hands of uh, an Aussie winemaker. So it doesn't smell as interestingly different as the Garganiga did, but it smells, smells okay. <clears throat> yeah, that slightly baked jammy edge, it's, um, it's okay. Um, the Garganiga's really nice. Here, it's, yes, I, I think this is definitely a first bottle. I, would, I wouldn't be calling for a second bottle of this. I like that juicy red berry character and a little bit of black currant in there. And it's not overwhelmingly sweet and jammy. What it feels like is slightly baked character. When I'm, when I'm, why I'm doing that, it's because I think of uh, uh, having a pie or a crumble and some of the, the juice has oozed out onto the sides of the dish or onto the... Um, plate below if you've remembered to put one in and save your oven and uh, has uh, slightly hardened and so it's got a little bit of fruit flavour but it's it's baked on. Um, it's hanging around in my mouth and it's not it's certainly not not unpleasant uh, and I would probably proffer my glass for a second uh, but I might wonder if there, whether there was anything else on offer but with the Garganiga it's definitely a second glass and possibly a third glass type of wine. See you soon.